Game Master, whoop you! Okay, so Super Smash Bros. Brawl is definitely one of my favorite games of all time. And I can't help but just remember some great nostalgic memories. And I just decided that, you know, New Year's is coming up and Super Smash Bros. 2014 is coming out. Well, whatever the heck Nintendo's calling it. Super Smash Bros. Universe. But still, with that out the way, I think there's nothing else to say. Let's review some Brawl. Now, I just got a Wii U, and I gave the Wii to my sister, so I had to do all that stuff again! Yeah, but, ah, it's too much fun! How can you not have fun doing this all over? Which I kinda did. But either way, with that out the way, let's get ready and review us some Smash Brothers. Let me just, just look at the meme. Okay, with that out the way, excuse me for the weird mic voice. But still, let's get in there and review some Smash Brothers. Okay, Super Smash Brothers Brawl is one of the best games of all time. What makes it tick? What makes everybody just want to dive in there and play some Super Smash Brothers? Let's go and find out. Number one is the story. It's easy and basic for everyone to understand. It's simple. Some bad guys are taking over, some enemies are coming, they're doing their typical battling stuff, but no, someone wants to turn them on to trophies, you know the villains, Wario, King DDD, yada 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 yada. So it's up to, you know, every Nintendo hero to go fight them and save the day. Typical stuff, won't spoil much, but honestly guys, it's pretty simple. The presentation is where Smash Brothers really shines. For example, Look at these bright, happy stages, and at times, some of them are just, well, dark, gritty, and creepy. And then some of them are just straight-up twisted and side-scrollers. There's a variety of different stages, and it really makes people want to keep going back to heck even some of the same ones. Now, I play Smash Brothers because of its simplistic gameplay and things like that, so how about we hop into that first? The gameplay consists of pressing 2, 1, or A and B. Despite, it doesn't matter which controller you're using, you're going to be using that, basically. You press R or B to do your typical blocking stuff. And, you know, kind of stop people from doing bad things to you, like what they do with the hammer. Smash Brothers is a lot different than other, your typical fighter. It, first off, the main difference is it's in the 2D plane, and the second one is it consists of using items. Sort of like the hit game Power Stone. But of course, nobody really got to play. First off, it's from the Dreamcast. Second off, it was also on the PSP. Gosh, it just keeps getting a bad rep, man. It keeps getting on those consoles nobody really wanted. Is that just me, or did like, only a handful of YouTubers actually want to buy a Dreamcast and just buy one because it was on discount? <laughs> Either way, the Smash Brother also consists of using your Smash Ball, and it's really cool checking it out. It also has a pretty cool story mode where you play through a bunch of levels in order to get to different stages, levels, and a bit of stages, bonus levels, characters to unlock, and of course, everybody's favorite thing to do trophies. When you get a coin like that, you get to throw it at an enemy and get a trophy. Which really helps you in your journey instead of waiting for one to pop up in multiplayer. Or heck, just trying to look for one. In the beautiful game that is Subspace Emissary. There's a variety of different modes for you to play at your leisure. Whether it's the good old old school target smash or the new school event matches. Nothing can get boring and everything just makes you want to keep playing for some more. I really do like the game, although I wish some of the modes long way, in my opinion. Okay, now with that out the way, let's get to some of that delicious presentation. Well, need I say more? The graphics look really good for what they are, and it really makes me want to keep going there and play them, like, right now. The graphics look really good, and the color schemes are vibrant for some levels, but some are also dark. Some of the colors do look a little washed out, but I can look over that because there's a lot of stuff happening on screen. And I know they're going for the more dark, gritty feel, and for that time, I didn't actually care that much. Nor did many people, you know? 
Sure, I wish it had a little more color, and I'm not going to detract it, but that's just my personal opinion. Nobody's really going to go up in arms about it having good color, right? Uh, maybe that's just me. Either way, I ended up liking this game to a really great extent. The variety of different platforms and different stage levels were really cool. Okay, the gameplay is really, really easy to grasp. It's simple, it's simplistic, and it really just makes you want to dive back in for more. Along with the visuals. The visuals do look really nice, and the game and the presentation looks good too. The character models look detailed, vibrant, and looks like they put a lot of time into them. And there's a nice abundance of two third party characters. One for the more adult people and some and one for the more for the kids. Sonic and S Solid Snake. Are the one that finds it ironic that both their names start with S's? Well, if you make that three with solids and snakes, but yeah. Good job, Nintendo. You thought no one would find that. SSS. Super Smash. Snakes. Oh, I wonder how good of a game that would be. Just throwing right in and oh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. So I like to call it SSB. Super Smash Brawl. The Brothers. <laughs> Either way, the gameplay is really good. But why know what makes this game stand out? Why know what made me come back for more? It was the gameplay and this music. Oh my gosh, it blows me away. Okay, now it's time for my favorite segment, Nostalgic Memories, and why I started this channel. Since this is my introduction review to welcome you all to the channel, I have something to tell you. Being the video game master I am, this game really taught me that there's more to just beating a game. Once you complete it, there's really something special about it. Something that makes you feel really complete, and you can finally put that game down for a little bit. Kind of like when in anime, the people always save their, well, souls or what's not. I don't know, guess the ghosts can finally go back to wherever they're going. Depends on the anime. But seriously, this game has a great memory for me. I got it when I, we, my family got it when we got all A's on our report cards. Since I was so hyped about the game and hyping it up, and it probably drove my parents insane, just like how it was when I was getting, when I want Super Mario 3D World right now. <laughs> Either way, I couldn't help myself. Seeing all my favorite Nintendo characters and tech, even some new ones, I was ecstatic. This game introduced me to some of my favorite franchises like Mario, Legend of Zelda, even, yes, Pikmin. I didn't even know what Pikmin was till this game. It's all thanks to this one game. And yes, it's him. I finally got into finding Pokemon games. I started off with Pokemon Red and Blue. Hey, gotta start off with the classics, bro. Classics FTW. I was ex I'm now excited to give you guys what my channel's about. What me and my sister's channel's about. We're here to give you guys some of the best videos ever. Let, whether it's a let's play, whether it's some analysis on stuff, whether it's trailers, whatever it is, we're here to give you guys it. We're here to show you that you don't need to swear a lot. You don't need to make those terrible you know what the word is jokes, starts with S, ends with X, jokes, to go ahead and let your YouTube channel reign supreme. Sometimes you just need to give some great information be really kind to people and communicate with your fans. And sometimes teach them how to be the master. How to become the video game master. And how to help give suggestions to make your channel grow. Not just keep releasing Beyond Two Souls Let's Plays and with just Photoshop and hoping that, you know, you're gonna get some views. We're right here to show you you don't need Bro Fist or Toe Busketeers or anything like that. You don't need a video game master army. I don't need theorist. Why know what I need? I just need 
I don't even need fans. I just need your guys' opinions, views, and how you guys want to see our videos in a new light. And heck, I don't care what it takes. I'm going to become the best YouTuber I can be. I don't care how long it's going to take. I don't know what I'm going to do. Here at Video Game Master, we're to bring you games. With that being said, 2014 is becoming a new year. And my resolution is to bring you guys the best videos of 2014. I don't care what it takes, but I'm going to get it done. Peace to